welcome to Tamagami. That's right, Scout and I are back out for another adventure. The weather didn't cooperate in the beginning. Not the greatest weather to a trip, but at least there's no lightning and no wind. And hopefully, begin some of this rain where all those forest fires are. The weather has cleared up now and we're heading into unfamiliar territory. A trip to explore another world-class canoeing destination with old growth forests, pristine lakes, and a vast wilderness of provincial parks, conservation reserves, and crown land, all just waiting to be discovered. The Tamagami Cluster, located in central Ontario, it offers 4,700 kilometers of canoe routes. And just to put that in perspective, Canada's coast from west to east is just over 5,000 kilometers. So as you can imagine, the possibilities are endless. For a beginner, it can be quite daunting. So I picked up a Friends of Tamagami map. I started off at the Lake Tamagami Access Road to decide to take the east side, then a 700 meter portage, then continuing up the north arm to the Sharp Rock Portage into Obabaka River Provincial Park to get to Diamond Lake. From there, our loop starts head back south through some long stretches of open water paddling to a 900 meter portage. This leads into Tamagami's northwest arm where we navigate through a bunch of islands to complete our version of the Obabaka Loop. Total distance is about 88 kilometers with very few portages. Let's go. All right, first portage of the trip. It's pretty rocky, so we'll take our time. Plus, we had all that rain, so it's a little bit slippery. Oh, oh just, a, just ate a mosquito. <laughs> it's not very far. It's uh, less than 200 meters. So we'll take care of this one. Just the bags first, and then we'll go back get the canoe. It's recommended that you travel in a counterclockwise direction to take advantage of the winds and currents. Permits will be required when I stay in the Obaka River Provincial Park, and they can be reserved up to two weeks in advance on the Ontario Parks website under backcountry registration in the Tamagami Cluster. I've heard that in Tamagami some of the access roads aren't in the best of shape, but this access road where I started from seemed to service a lot of cottages, and there was a lot of cars there, and a lot of boats, and the road was in perfectly good shape. There was no issue driving on this one, it was just a regular gravel road. So now we're on Kokoko Lake, which is Nishinaabe for Owl. I decided to go down this way because it had the one portage. I figured the one portage would thin out some of the boats. Lake Tamagami was just too busy with boat traffic. And just to give you an idea how big Lake Tamagami is, if you were to take the biggest lake in Algonquin, which is Lake Obiongo, and travel from south to the north end, that's 15 kilometers. Now to do the same on Lake Tamagami, approximately 45 kilometers. So as you can see, the lake is way bigger. We put in about 15 kilometers so far, so now we're going to try and find a campsite on this lake. Hopefully, there's one available. Okay, we got our campsite. I was getting a little nervous there because the first two that we paddled by, someone was on them. And if all the campsites are full, we got to do another portage and move on to the next spot. But luckily we came across one. Now it's time to grab something to eat for myself and for Scout. Scout, get your bowl. A lot of times the first day can be the longest, but luckily for us... Thanks, Scout. Good job, Scout. Luckily for us, we drove up yesterday and we stayed at Smooth Water Outfitters to spend the night over there. Take it, Scout. It's made for a much easier day. Probably would have never been able to get this far, especially with the rain. The outfitting company has all the gear you need and I really like the uh, gathering hall. That was a pretty neat room as well. Even though we had all that rain to start off with, it's still pretty dry. Ontario's going through quite the crazy forest fire season, so I'm gonna use the stove for the whole trip, I think. Good morning to day number two. Today we make our way back out to the big lake, Lake Tamagami. I'm planning to try and find a campsite around 13 kilometers away so that'll set us up in good position to start day number three. But first, we have a 700 meter portage to do just ahead of us. Now it's supposed to be just around this corner. Let's see if we can find it. It's not like Algonquin where they have a the big yellow portage sign that you can see from a mile away. I think that will be it up there. Looks like an opening there. I think that's it. I don't see any sign yet, but I think 
That's gotta be it. Looks like a portage to me. Okay, we're going for a hike, Scout. Portage number one. There's no sign, but hopefully this is the right one. We'll find out. We just gotta be careful because it cuts into another portage after. So we'll go find out if we're doing the right one or not. Gotta be careful with Oh, that's a monster. That is a big tree. I was gonna say, uh, Scout doesn't realize how wide her backpack is. Sometimes she cuts into your your legs, she could take you out. I don't know, you won't be able to see too well, but look how big that tree is. Well, we're here, I think. It didn't feel like 700 meters, but there's no sign. I don't know. Too bad the map is over at the canoe. Pretty confident that we are where we're supposed to be. We're on Lake Tamagami. We're in a little bay here, so there is hardly any wind, but when it opens up, up, up front, hopefully it's the same. Conditions look pretty good, nice and sunny day, and we're gonna make our way to the north arm. But when we get out to the north arm, we have to be careful and we have to pay close attention to the map because there's lots of islands to navigate through. And up there, we'll try and look for a campsite. So we stopped at this campsite because the other nature was calling, no one was on it. And it looks like it also has another trail to a pretty nice lookout, Devil's Mountain. So we're gonna go take a look, see if we can find it. Let's go. Very steep to start off with, that's for sure. No problem, Scout. Lead the way. Okay, Scout, let's go. <laughs> okay, I think we hit as high as we need to go. Now we're just making our way to the lookout. It's a lot more flatter here. I think we found it. Here it is, check out this lookout. Looks like it was totally worth it. That was worth it. Time to head back. Let's go, not too close, let's go. Holy cow, don't get so close. <laughs> you got it, Scout? No problem, eh? No problem. You made it look too easy. A little harder for me. So it took us about 15 minutes to come down. Obviously it took a little bit longer to go up. It's pretty steep incline and decline. I think Tomogamy has uh, the highest point in Ontario, not this one of course. This was Devil's Mountain, which was pretty good lookout. I always like going up to those lookouts. And now I think it's time to have a snack. Oh, I forgot the pupperette. Forgot the pupperette. What, no pupperette, Scout? <laughs> Fooled ya, look, pupperette. <laughs> pupperette for Scout. Here we go, Scout. I'll make a deal with you, over here. Break it in two. If you catch the first piece, you get the second piece. Pressure's on, you ready? You gotta catch it. All right, you got it. Good job, Scout. Good job. Here's the other one. Here's the other one. Hey. Good job, Sid. Here, let's do some tricks. Let's just heel, 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 heel. Legs, 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 legs. Good job, this way, this way, this way. Sit. Down. Stand. Sit. Hold it. Take it. Good job. Go. Good job. Okay, now eat this and let's make our way to our campsite. Let me show you guys the lookout where we just came from. That would have been the lookout up there. There's the campsite right over there. Okay, we gotta get moving. A little bit of wind picking up. We don't want it to get too bad. We gotta cross this part. I know it doesn't show up on GoPro, but the swells are getting kind of big and Scout keeps on moving around. She's 
ready to roll out of the canoe, I think. Might have a campsite up here. We can stop at. Okay. Well, I think we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. It's only 12.30. Still pretty early in the day. We wanted to get much further down in the northern arm. But it's a little bit too windy for now. We'll hang out here, see if it calms down. If it does, then maybe we'll move up a little bit further. If not, we'll set up camp. So here we are in the north arm. We made it to this campsite right here. That's where we're taking a break. See if this wind will calm down. The plan was to try and make it up somewhere over here so that tomorrow we go to Diamond Lake at the Obaka River Provincial Park. Well, the wind might have died down a little bit, but it's still not that great out there. And to tell you the truth, once I sat down, I don't think I was going to get back up anyways. So we set up camp here. It just means there's going to be a little extra more paddling to do tomorrow morning. And I think I'm going to start to rehydrate something to eat for dinner tonight because it looks like some dark clouds are moving in. I don't know if we're going to get some rain or not. I'm going to grab some meal out of the food bag and grab something to eat a little bit early. to Obeka Provincial Park and has a reservation to stay on Diamond Lake. Ooh, hooked into something already and I'm fishing with my deepest lure so I don't know what we got on here. It's a fighter. Now I felt head shakes at the beginning but nothing now. Easy going so far, a little bit of tailwind just pushing us right down, just got to steer the ship, no other fish, just got to keep our eyes open because we got to make a left through a little channel up here, got to make sure we hit that or else we'll go too far. Okay we found that little narrow and the rain found us, a little bit of rain coming down now and now we are on Sharp Rock Inlet and we are making our way to the first portage and only portage of the day was going to lead in to Diamond Lake and this is the busiest portage in Tomogamy. Okay the park boundary heading into the Obabaka River Provincial Park. This is the 100 meter sharp rock portage. Apparently there's a left and right side. The right side is supposed to be easier so we'll give that a try. I'll give you my vantage point and Scout will give you hers. So there's an east and west side. The side through the forest is supposed to be easier. I don't really see the entrance to that part though just yet. Well, that didn't seem too bad. I was expecting much worse. I think we can put in right here. That's it. I thought it was going to be much worse. All right, let's go get the other loads. Luckily, it's just a short portage, so we just walk back and forth. We're officially Obamaka River Provincial Park. I'm just hoping there's a campsite that's available on Diamond Lake because that goes well with the route that I'm taking. And for that portage back there, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. I thought it was going to be the whole portage was going to be like walking on the edges of the rocks. That's supposed to be the busiest part, busiest portage in Tomogamy. 
which there's nobody there, so that's good. <laughs> now we're gonna see if we can find an open campsite on Diamond Lake. There's a cluster of four campsites on the other side of this island, I think. I'm gonna try and grab one of those if they're open. I don't wanna test my luck and go all the way down to the end and see that all the other ones are taken and I have to continue on, because I'm getting tired. I'm doing a lot of paddling today. Let's cross our fingers. Well, I think we made the right call stopping when we did. Take a little break here. Got the tent up just in time before it started to rain. Just give it a second before we clean up this mess. This is the landing over here, not too good, and I've gone up and down this three times to bring on my gear, and there's one of those rocks over there that looks like it has a face on it. I'll put it up on the screen, let me know if you see it as well. All right, seems like we got a little break in the weather. I started to rehydrate tonight's meal. Scout, are you hungry? Get your bowl, Scout. Feed Scout. Good job, Scout, good job. And even got a special dessert tonight. This island is full of blueberries. So I have that for dessert. Maybe we'll get some fresh fruit out here. So we made it halfway down Diamond Lake. That sets us up for good position for day number four. And I think that's gonna be it. There's not much more going on today. Somebody's watching me in the background. Am I doing it right, Scout? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I didn't think you were listening. We finally caught one. Jump! That's a big bass. Check that out, eh, Scout? That's a big bass. Hey, you in front of the camera. That's a good one. Oh, he's got a little bit of a scar there. Send him back. That's a good bass. Send him back. Back on the water for day number four. Another muggy morning. Brought up the mosquitoes while I was breaking down camp. Another overcast day. Looks like a little bit of haze floating in the air. I don't think that has anything to do with the forest fire so I don't smell any smoke. I think it's just low-lying fog. That was my favorite campsite so far. Campsite number one had a lot of summer camp kids on the other sites. And I understand they had a lot to talk about after their day of paddling. Campsite number two was on Lake Tomogamy and there's a lot of boat traffic going by. Didn't really like that, but we were stuck there because of the wind. Campsite number three, this one that we just came from, we were the only ones around. Nobody else around, nice, quiet, and solitude. Today the plan is to try and put in about 17 kilometers before I start to look for my new campsite. That'll set us up good for day number five. And we also have two portages that we have to take care of today. And just up ahead, the lake starts to narrow, and that's gonna lead us into portage number one. Well, this is quite interesting. Big split in the rocks. I came over here to check this out. And I started all the bear up there, but he's gone. I don't think you'll be able to see him. Not much room for a double blade.
All right, this arm is width apart. Pretty clean split. Let's go. We'll go quiet. Up there is where I saw the bear, but I think it was a bear and a cub. 400 meters, scout. Let's see what this is like. Begs first and we'll come back for the canoe. Okay, let's go. Rocky, scout. Rocky. Making it? Find a way. Find a way. Good job. It's the rocky one, Scout. That first part's going to be tough with the canoe and bag. That's for sure. It's leveling out a little bit up here. Careful, Scout. Those rocks might be slippery. Scout. How you doing? Okay? Good job. Let's go. I would suspect these rock cairns are the way to go. Someone outlining the way. Good job, we made it. Now I gotta go get the canoe. It's gonna be a tough one. It's a pretty rocky portage. Both portages done. Second one is 10 times easier than the first one. And now we're on Waka, Waka Mika Lake. And we plan to stay here for tonight if we can get a campsite. So we're gonna be checking out the sites to see if anything's good. The lake sure does open up after that narrow channel. I think we're gonna stop here. We've got some big, huge beach sites all along the coast here. We're gonna have a snack, throw some sticks, and then we'll continue on down the lake, see if we can find a campsite. We've got perfect paddling conditions. There's no wind right now, so we'll try and get as far as we can. It's a pretty big lake though. A little bit further each time. A little bit further each time, you ready? All right, next one, ready? A bit further next. Keep going, keep going, Scout, keep going. Good job, Scout, good job. You got it, Scout. Oh, you want this one, eh? You want this one? Ready? Okay, drop it. Ready? You got it? You wanted it. We got it, eh? This way, let's go. Usually I start every trip with a Gatorade bottle and I use that to mix my uh, water flavoring, but this time I forgot it. So now I gotta use this Be Free container and I have my water flavoring and I mix it in my mouth. That's how we gotta do it. That's how we gotta do it, bushcraft style, right? That's how we've been doing it. Snacks, go. Pop a red for you. 
Oh yeah. Whoa. Pop her in. All right. Can you get up here? Up here. Up here. You don't want to go up there? Ready? Come on. And up here. Right there. Oh, come on. Stay up. Up here. Up here. Stay, 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 stay. Come on, come on, come on. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, almost. Try again. Come on. Up here. Help. Stay, 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 stay. Balance. Balance. Stay. Got a mosquito. Good job. Dig it. All right. That's one half. I got my snacks. You want your other half? Paparette time. Turkey flavor. Turkey flavor paparette. So I got part two. Try again up here. Come on. Come on. Balance it up. Balance it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Balance it. Balance balance. Oh, close. Come on. Come on. Oh, almost. Up here. Up here. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, you did it. Good job. Take it. You did it, Scout. Good job. All right. I had in my head that we we're going to camp on Wakamika Lake, but then I just realized that the original plan was actually we we're going to try and make it to Obabaka Lake and we're going to camp there. I have permits for two nights in the Obabaka River Provincial Park. That was just in case we got stranded or stuck because of bad weather. But with weather like this, it's hard not to continue on. You got to take advantage of days like this when you can. So now we're just looking for the head of the river for the Wakamika River. And then we're going to follow that zigzag in and out, in and out, and that'll take us to Obabaka Lake. And there's a section of Obabaka, Obabaka Lake that you need a permit to. I have one more permit, so we can stay in that area or we can continue on. Let's see what we can find that river. Going counterclockwise puts us going with the river instead of against. Just gotta watch out for that antenna in the back on these trees. That's the biggest challenge when you're going through these little creeks. Scouts up front calling all the rocks and the tree stumps out here. Oh no. We got another dam here. See, I told you so. See what I mean in a minute. We had to take the back camera off. Leave it, Scout. Quiet, Scout. I don't know if you guys could see that with the GoPro, but we just startled the moose up there. Well, Scout did at least. Did you see it, Scout? Some thunder in the background there. There's a storm just off to the side of us. Just missing us, I think. Scout's taking cover already. Under the tree, she doesn't like the thunder, that's for sure. That was a busy day today. That was an awesome bull moose. I haven't seen a bull moose in a long time either. So I think time to just grab something to eat. I need to take a rest, take a break. We did a lot of traveling today. It was a good day though, a lot of traveling. I need to grab some food. You gonna be alright under there? That tree will protect you, eh? Well, it's caught up to us.
Well, we didn't escape the rain as I thought we were going to last night. The storms kept on rolling through for about three hours straight. And now we're up early in the morning, there was no rain to start off with. And as soon as we start to get going, here comes the rain again. But there's only two things that Panthers can't deal with, and that's lightning and wind. So, this little rainfall, we're going to power through, and we're going to make our way to the middle of this big lake. And just to give you an idea how big Obabaka Lake is, that island that I zoomed in from our campsite is a quarter of this lake. And we have to go to the halfway point before we meet up with our first port car. Probably not going to be a whole lot more filming here because the conditions are the great. So we're going to concentrate on paddling. We're going to get to the shoreline and make our way to where we need to be. I think the weather gods are saying this paddler had it too easy yesterday. No wind. Paddled across that big lake with no wind. Let's throw in a few curveballs for today. On the left side, we just passed the last campsite inside of Babaka River Point Park. And now we're just crossing the imaginary border line. So anything ahead of us now, we don't need a reservation. According to the map, it looks like that was called Grand Parent Rocks. So right in front of me is the first island that I showed you before. Whew, it took us about an hour and a half. And behind me is Ranger Point. And up there it says there's a fire tower trail that goes up 100 meters. There's also a sign on one of these trees. I'm going to go check it out. See what it says. There's the island back there. And we still have about a quarter or more to go before we get to our first portage mark. July 18, 1920, 21. Today is July the 17th. <laughs> Just made it in time. Okay, let's get going. Continue on with this long paddle down this big lake. Well, we got something hooked on here. Oh, it's splashing over there. Let's see if we can keep this one on. Just remember, when you're fishing, you gotta choose when to fish and not to fish. Earlier we couldn't fish, like you could troll, but if you catch something, you're gonna drift into the rocks or it's too awkward. But now it's calmed down. It's a good time. So I put out and started trolling. Let's see what we got here. This is a lively one. Here they are. We got a nice little bass. Let's put them back. I just put my line back out. We got another one. Very big. Send them back. Something grabbed onto it. Oh, I just let go. They're on to me. Time to get moving. One port touch day, 900 meters. Just look for the statue. There is an alternate route that you can do that goes around the bay. A little more paddling then you'll do a 400 meter and a 100 meter portage but it's getting kind of windy out there a little choppy so we're going to do this one it's a little bit longer 900 meters there 900 meters back and then 900 meters again 2700 meters is going to be a long portage so we better get started let's go scout this way this way all right let's go just the bags times 11.55. I'll let you know how long it takes. 11.55, so we got at the portage around 11.30. We left this morning around eight. But we did stop at pretty much every campsite along that one side. And did some fishing once we caught those few bass. Probably stayed there a little bit too long. First trip, 12.06. There are lots of mosquitoes in there. 
That's the mosquitoes. Okay, Scary, let's go. We gotta go back for more. The trail is in very good condition. There's nothing really too difficult about it. Just the 900 meters. No issues on this one. Walk back. 1220. Now all we're gonna do here is throw some sticks for scout. And then next up, bring the canoe over. 1231. Stick plane is done. Let's get going. This is the last portage of the trip. So day one we didn't do any. Day two we did one. Day three we did one. Day four we did two. And this one. So a total of five portages for the whole trip. Uh, it covered 88 kilometers. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And that's it. 12.43 and no more portaging. Time to find a campsite. Scout, could you get your bowl, please? Get your bowl, Scout. All right, good job, Scout. Good job. We're gonna grab something to eat. I got a nice pasta. Scout's got her kibble. And we'll see what the weather is like tomorrow. If we have good conditions tomorrow, we might be heading out. I think maybe we have less than 10K to go. So we'll see how it goes and I think I'm going to try and do some fishing on this little point here and hopefully we can have some luck. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Take it, Scout. Had a gorgeous day and perfect weather for paddling. I budgeted myself one extra day just in case we ran into some trouble, but fortunately everything turned out all right. Thanks to the friends of Tomogamy for recommending to go in the counterclockwise direction. That truly made a big difference. So I'm going to continue on and I'm going to try and make it to the access road today, but up ahead there's a lot more boats, a lot more cottages, and a lot more islands that I'm going to have to pay close attention to the map to try and navigate around to make it to the access point. So it looks like that's going to do it for my first Tomogamy trip. The Obabaka Loop didn't disappoint. We climbed Devil's Mountain to a nice lookout. I caught a nice bass on Diamond Lake. We got challenged by a rocky portage, saw a bull moose, and paddled some gorgeous lakes. It was an amazing experience, and I hope you liked watching the video. Once again, I'm Jay, that's Kelly, the channel. So hey, wait, remind you again next morning, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Did you do that? Looks like it's been a rough trip for you, Scout. You're falling apart. Falling apart. Got some battle scars. Oh, yeah.